In this example, I'm going to show you how we can solve another first order differential equation using the method of separation of variables. In this problem, we're asked to find the general solution of the equation dv d psi equals v tan psi minus mu secant psi. We can separate the variables immediately by dividing through by v so that all terms involving v appear on the left hand side. This gives dv over v equals the tangent of psi minus mu secant of psi all multiplied by d psi. And the variables have been separated so the v's appear on the left and the psi's appear on the right. We can now proceed to integrate both sides with respect to their respective variables. So on the left hand side we're integrating 1 over v which is the logarithm of the modulus of v and I'm going to put the constant of integration in at the moment on the right hand side and I'm going to write it as the logarithm of the modulus of another constant a. And that allows us to immediately combine these to the logarithm of the modulus of AV. Then we turn to integrate the right hand side. Now if you use a table of integrals, you can find out that the integral of the tangent of psi is the logarithm of the secant of psi. Minus mu and then the integral of the secant of psi, again from a table, is the logarithm of the secant of psi plus the tangent of psi. Now I'm going to simplify this by taking the mu inside as a power using one of the laws of logarithms and then use another law of logarithms to do the subtraction. So if we use the laws, we'll be able to write this as the logarithm of the secant of psi divided by secant psi plus tan psi all to the power mu. And still on the left hand side with the modulus, the log of the modulus of AV. Taking the exponentials of both sides, we'll remove the logarithms. So we'll have that the modulus of AV is the secant of psi divided by the secant of psi plus the tangent of psi to the power mu. Now this means that either AV must be the term we have on the right or possibly the negative of that term. But because the constants of integration could be positive or negative, that we can proceed without any loss of generality by just dividing through by a to get v equals 1 over a secant of psi secant of psi plus tan psi to the mu. And that's the general solution. 1 over a, if we wish, we could write it as just a constant c, say, so that we could write this as c secant psi, secant psi plus tan psi to the power mu. And that's another form of the general solution. And that's the final answer.